A survey done between 2008 and 2009 found that only 57% of 16 to 19 year olds said they used contraception. Young people aged less than 25 years experienced the highest rates of STIs in the UK. This is why it's really important to use one of these. As well as preventing pregnancy, a condom can protect from STIs that can be crossed over during sex. However, to test yourself for chlamydia and gonorrhea, all you need is a test kit. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's free, confidential, quick and easy. Once you've taken the plastic off, you'll find this box. And this is what a test kit looks like. When you open the box, it will tell you how to do the test step by step. This is everything that will come in your test kit. It will give you all the bits of equipment you need to do the test. You'll need the box for instructions and to send off your test. This cup, or paper shot glass, is to collect your sample in. This is the pipette and the test tube that you'll eventually put your sample into. This is the form with which you'll need to fill in your details. This is the bag that you'll put your sample into. But first things first, you need a sample. Go on Sam, off you go. Ah, here he is. Any luck? Oh, I see. Okay, well, not to worry. Here we have instead, some Avatar Wii. Now you'll need this, the test tube and the pipette. Although not too clear, the pipette is included in the same packet as a test tube. When you've opened the sealed package, grab the pipette first. With the test tube, make sure you put the sample in, in between these black lines. Under or over the black lines will spoil the test. Using the pipette, add the sample to the solution inside the test tube. Also, make sure that you don't spill any of the chemical that's already in there. If the solution doesn't quite meet the middle of the black lines, simply add more of the sample. Then close it up. Now we need the information sheet. With this part, you just fill in the details, name, date of birth, address, that sort of thing. But remember, this is still confidential and your details won't be released to anybody else. On this removable sticker to the right of the page, you need to put your date of birth. Once you've taken the sticker off, you need to stick it on the test tube sample. But do remember, you must keep the black lines clear. Now for the specimen bag. Don't be put off by the biohazard sign. Your sample is not a weapon of mass destruction. So, put the test tube in and make sure that all air is out of the bag. Then take the full strip off to reveal the adhesive, then seal it up. And that's the sample bag done. This square bit of material is here so that if the test tube breaks, it soaks up all the solution so that the postman doesn't get any nasty surprises. And there you have it, that's the whole test done. Now grab the box it originally came in. Now just to package it all up and send it away. Carefully roll up the test kit and the form so they're fixed in the box. Once it's all in safe and sound, just take off this strip off the top. This will reveal another bit of adhesive which is just going to stick the box lid down. Close it all up, and there you have it. Good to send away straight away. And remember, it's all free. No stamps needed.
Thank you.